Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to our channel, guys. If you guys are new, make sure you go and hit that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications so you don't miss a video. Today, one, comment down below if you like my stash. I think it looks good. I've been getting mixed reviews on it. A lot of people don't like it. A lot of people do like it. You guys comment down below what you think. I want to remind you guys about our program, our 30 day program. So for a limited time, we are doing a discount. It was $50. For a limited time, we're taking it down to $20. If you guys are interested in that, com uh, comment down below or we'll have our email in the description where you guys can email us and then we'll send you that out. That is a 30-day program with 30 workouts. All, everything you could want in a workout for coaches, trainers, for players. It's got video recordings of me doing all the drills that we have, the number, the reps, everything. And it'll focus on every aspect of your game. So if you guys are looking for a program uh, to take your game to the next level before season starts or just to improve, go ahead and comment down below. Go ahead and snag that before uh, we bump that price back up. So that's it. All right, for today's video, I'm just going to get into a full workout, okay? So just a workout that you guys can do if you guys want to improve on your ball handling, your finishing, and your shooting. If that's something that you're interested in, let's get into it. All right, right now I'm going to start off with a two-ball warm-up series that I do a lot of the time with my guys. We're going to hold one basketball, okay? Working on playing in a strong position, okay? A lot of the times, right, we're, when we're dribbling the ball, we're going to have somebody on our side and holding them here. So that's what that ball is uh, representing, you know, a defender right here, and we're trying to hold them off while we're dribbling the ball. So first, I'm just going to start with V dribbles. So I'm here. I'm going to go for 20 seconds. Right hand. Well, you guys are going to go for 20 seconds. I'm going to go about 10. Just showing you guys what I do here. Good. After I get that, I'll switch hands. Got it, I'm gripping this ball tight. Really working on staying in a strong position as I do these V dribbles or windshields, whatever you call them, and relax. Good, after that, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm going back to the right hand, but now I'm gonna do a windshield, and then a half a windshield, I'm going back through my legs. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Again, no number, I'm going for time here. Good, just to get a warm up and to get my handle nice Nice and going before we start the workout. Good, then I'll switch hands. Four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Last one. Good, you guys are gonna do 20 to 30 seconds of that. Okay, now next thing I'm gonna get into is a windshield and then I'm gonna go crossover. I'm switching hands, trying to keep that ball on my chest. So now I'm just trying to warm up my hand-eye coordination and my quick hand. So we're here, cross, one, two, cross, one, two, cross, oh. Good. Just trying to warm up my hand speed, get a good feel for that ball, get all my focus on my crossovers and not on the other ball. Hey, boom. Good. Next I'll go is same thing, but I'm going to go between the legs. With these drills, right, when you're in a game and you're dribbling the ball, especially as a point guard position, you got a lot of other focuses, right? You got to see what the defense is doing. Your coach may be calling a play. The crowd may be loud, right? And so all that stuff is distractions. That's what this other ball that's on my stomach is supposed to simulate, right? It's a distraction, and I got to focus on handling the ball. Good. Last one I'll do, obviously, is a windshield behind the back. Hey. This one's a little harder still for me, but good. Hey. Ah, I'll give you two, two clean here. And, and that's the end of the ball handling. Obviously, you guys can do that one round, two rounds, or just go for higher time. I just did it so you guys can see. It's a good start to a workout. Now I'm going to get into finishing. All right, here, I'm going to still continue to warm up my handle as I go through different footworks on my finish. So I'm going to start top of the key. If you guys have cones or chairs, that's great to put here. I'd put one here right above the top of the key and one right here. Just because I don't have them and I know what I'm doing, I'm not gonna use them, okay? So I'm gonna start right hand, I'm attacking right. I'm just gonna warm up my handle with a four count. So I'm doing any four moves I want. On that last fourth move, I'm working on being explosive. I'm gonna take one dribble and then I'm gonna hit a double move. First finish we're working on is our two foot stride stop finish. Focus of today's workout is gonna be playing off of two feet, right? So I'm still building off my handle. It's good to do stationary ball handling. But now I need to put my handle into full use. So now I'm gonna go four count. One, two, three, four, attack, one, two. Right into that stride stop finish. 
Okay, stride, stop, finish just means outside, inside footwork. So if my right hand, I'm taking, attacking right, right foot, left foot, off of two feet, finish. Every time you finish off two feet, or most of the time when you finish off two feet, it's when you're expecting contact or your defender is on your side, right? All right, here we go. Any four moves you want. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Stride, stop, finish. Next is we're gonna do the same thing. Here, I'm gonna do a four count. Now I'm just gonna work on one quick change direction move. Here, I'm gonna go stride, stop, finish again. Left, right. Now I'm working on a rondo fake. Turn and finish, still working on finishing with my right hand. Obviously, when we switch sides, we'll go all left hand. Four count here. One, two, three, four, one. Quick change direction. Stride, stop, fake. Up into my rondo finish. Got it? With all these reps, you guys can go three to five reps. Anything you guys want, you can go to 10 if finishing is something that you struggle with. These are all good footworks, all good finishes you need to have. So three to 10 reps would probably be good. Show you guys one more. Hey, change. Start up, fake. Up into that finish. Last one on this side is now we're gonna work on a stop here, okay? So I'm still with my four count, right? We did two moves, we did one move. Now I'm gonna work on a stop. So that could be a snatch behind. A snatch under, snatch under, or inverted stop. Take a pause, look at the rim, and then I'm getting into another move, getting to the basket. We're gonna finish off two feet again with that stride stop. But now we're gonna work on a turnout fade shot. So, all right, here we go. One, two, three, four, good, quick stop, fake, good. One, two, fade out, shot. On this footwork right here, when we go into our one two if this defender who was on our side slides in front of us at the very end right instead of challenging because he's in, he's blocking our view of the basket we just turn out hit a nice little fading shot two, three, three. Hey. Hey. next we're going to go into mid-range jump shots okay what we're going to work on right here is two moves okay i want them to be fast and low and then as soon as we get done with that second move we're just going to practice on our hang dribbles so being able to let that ball float in space and then we're going to hesitate quick get into a one drill pull-up so for this focusing on our handle focusing on changing our heights changing our speeds and then obviously knocking down our pull-up right i'm going right first so when i go right it is dribble left right knock your shot down here we go so one two hang oh attack Knock down your shot. One, two, attack. Knock it down, okay? Now, we'll go five that direction. Same thing, we're gonna start on our right hand. Now we're just gonna work on shooting off the crossover, off that hang, right? So Allen Iverson's crossover. One, two, we're still gonna hang. Our footwork's gonna do the same like we're going right. At that last second, we're gonna cross it and then pull that shot. Obviously on this crossover, when it starts to my right hand, my footwork's right left on that. So I'll show you guys one more. Oh, there we go. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy, go ahead and leave a like and a comment. We'll see you guys in the next video.